How did you get Princeton to sign on for this? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, after rejecting the initial impulse to send them a fake script, uh, <laughs> we, we sent them the real script and, and just uh, uh, crossed our fingers. Um, luckily, I think they liked the idea of having Tina Fey around for a little bit, um, and they had to have a sense of humor about themselves. Um, uh, so, so they agreed to do it. We had some things we couldn't do. We couldn't shoot. Uh, I couldn't actually point the camera at their actual admissions office because it's super duper top secret. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, but everything else they, they let us do, and I felt very grateful when they finally signed off on it. Well, you know, a lot of parents dream of being able to expose the admissions process, yeah. and you actually did it. Uh, are you worried that they'll remember you when your own uh, daughter applies to college? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to change the names. <laughs> I'm going to change my name legally by the time my kids are applying to school. Um, I think the thing is that um, really uh, the you know Tina plays as college admissions officer, and uh, they really do care about who they're going to bring into the school and whether they're going to be successful, and that they have a diverse student body. It's not kind of what you might think of. Um, at the same time, they have to reject 99% of the people who apply, which is kind of crummy. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I I actually don't think you necessarily have a big leg up. Um, if you go to an Ivy League institution as opposed to a community college. But that's just my personal experience of the friends I knew growing up and, and where I see them now. Also, you know, I would imagine that applying to college is a lot like trying to get a movie made, pitching a film. How is yeah. it pitching this one? Well, uh, actually, this is based on a novel, but before even going to the script stage, um, I, I sat down with Tina and, and went over all the beats of the story and the things that was going to change from the novel. And honestly, if she had said, I don't think that's the right way to go, then I would have just said, oh, I'm going to do another film. because. Uh, you can't be trying to make a different film from the star. So in this case, yeah, I really pitched it. Um, and uh, uh, she was, uh, you know, had enough patience to listen to the whole thing.